knew that I really wanted to do something brain science related given um, I have some family experience with neurodegenerative disease. Um, Alzheimer's is something that touches most families in America at this point and I knew I wanted to do something related to neurodegeneration. And um, when I came to Columbia, there were just so many fantastic labs um, to choose from. And I wanted to work in the Project ALS lab because of its very unique combination of studying very human-related questions of disease mm -hmm. and using human cell models. Mm -hmm. So doing very patient-oriented basic research that I thought would, in my lifetime, have a big impact on the treatment and care of these diseases in patients. Project ALS is really unique not only in its scientific approach, but in the approach that it takes to collaboration. It's kind of like collaborate or die in, in this research environment, and that's a good thing. I think I think at the end of the day, it's going to help the patients more. The, the overall goal of the Project ALS Stem Cell Lab is to create um, an approximation or a model of mm -hmm. the ALS brain mm -hmm. in a culture dish, mm -hmm. and that's what you've worked so hard to do. Is that an expensive proposition? To go from the skin to the pluripotent cell, so that first step that we have to take, it's a couple thousand dollars. Then it costs us about $500 a week to maintain them in culture. So how often do you have to feed the cells? We feed the cells once a day. They need a certain substrate on which to live. They, they need certain nutrients. We basically provide them all of the conditions that they would need to live inside the cell that we're feeding Talking them. about tender loving care for these cells is right. expensive. It costs approximately $500 mm -hmm. a week to, yep. to maintain one cell culture. From one patient. From yeah. one patient, mm -hmm. right. In our liquid nitrogen tanks, we have dozens of patients. Usually at one time, each student is culturing between four and five. To feed one culture from one patient, it's about $20 a day for just $20 a day in salary. <laughs> exactly. Which is significant when you start to think about what these cells allow you to the do. The potential that they have. Yeah. They allow you to begin to understand how and why ALS happens. Yes. These cell cultures allow you to start to model ALS outside of the human body, mm -hmm. to create a brain in the dish. Yes. So then we have the opportunity, because these are so-called pluripotent stem cells, to differentiate them into the cell types that we're interested in. Of course, for us, that's motor neurons. $150 yeah. to turn an embryonic leg stem cell, which is actually derived from a patient's skin. Mm -hmm. To go from many stem cells to many motor neurons. Ma it costs about $25 to make a million motor neurons from start wow. to finish. Think that's a great it. way of looking at it. So for $25, mm -hmm. you can have a million motor neurons created in yes. the laboratory. Yes.